What up, Tube? Been a minute. Right now, the garage is super full. It got way smaller because of that project. So my wife has a 59 Apache. I uh, ended up coming across an S10 frame, and I thought maybe uh, we'd make it a little more uh, reliable, economical, just damn easier to work on. So that's what we have here, and that's what I'm gonna be working on in this video a little bit. So right now, that bed and front end obviously are just sitting there on that S10 frame that I had in a previous video here. Um, put a small block on the, the frame and ran some exhaust and now we're ready to start mocking up that cab front end and the bed that's sitting on its end behind me. So tonight I'm gonna um, cut some inner fender wells make some new front mounts. Um, I already cut off the frame horns and I'll throw that in this uh, video as well. I, the frame horns in the front were a little too long with the S10 and this isn't an uncommon swap. I'm not the first one to do this. Um, they do sell a kit for it. It leaves the body sit up pretty high on the frame and I want that guy to be as low as possible. So um, the mini trucker and me screams body drop Chevy already put a step in there for me. Imagine that. So we're just gonna mount it to the to right to the frame, make make a couple mounts, make a couple new front mounts for the fenders, front fenders and clip. I'm gonna try and get that done tonight. Um, so this will be a multi-video process. Obviously, you don't do a whole frame swap on a truck in uh, three to five minutes, and I try and keep my videos around that. My wife's gonna help out a bunch on this. This is her truck. Watch. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the projects we got going on here in the garage. So far, uh, you know, George's truck is coming along. That thing's got a bed and fenders on it. I'm getting real close to firing it up. The 50's been on hold back there in the corner for a little bit. All the parts are sitting here for her. She just needs a drive line, exhaust, and some brake lines. And then uh, interior work. The rest of the body work it will slowly happen around the outside um, as we move along. But for now, we're going to focus on her and get that Apache up and going. And uh, I'm super excited. It's going to be a super rad truck when it's done. So first step is to get rid of those frame horns. I'm going to cut them right behind there where that level's sitting right now. And uh, then we'll make some new mounts and mount that front end there. Get ready to cut those frame horns off. Small blocks sitting there, half put together. Front end's ready to get dropped on. Things are getting crazy. So they are cut off, left them just a little long, turn them back to exactly where I want them, build new rad mounts and uh, fender mounts off of the front there, but that gives us a good place to start from, is start cutting some stuff out. Right now, that front end is literally just sitting on top of these control arms, all up super high, um, and you can see right there. That upper control arm is just in the way. I kind of marked some stuff out. I'm gonna do a little bit of small trimming, um, get it down low and lose, so I lose as little inner fender as possible. If you know anything about the 59 Apache or a lot of these older trucks, that uh, inner fender, that inner fender is uh, pretty important for the structure of the front end, so. I want to cut as little out as possible, and if I have to reinforce it, I will. That old battery tray needs to come out. Um, the steering column and that old box 
So we're probably gonna have to trim that back on the cab. This cab needs to slide sit forward six to eight inches. Um, but first I wanna fit up this front end. So got the small block in there. She fits real nice. A couple small things to do to her yet. Get her running. Um, but yeah, tonight, let's cut out some inner fenders, make some new mounts, and get this cab placed where it's supposed to be, and get this front end down on the ground. I can't wait to see how low it sits where we have it. So I got it roughed out there, cut the inner fender wells a little bit, and a couple things that were in the way, so that I could uh, get her down around where she needs to be. I rigged the front end up to the hoist, because I'm here by myself, and moving stuff is a bitch. But So yeah, after a little trimming, use that little student's chair that I use for all kinds of stuff, and I got that thing sitting where it's supposed to be they're pretty close now i can do some measuring make some uh front mounts here for these horns i cut the the horns off of the front of the s10 frame and you can see that here let me just kind of give them a, a quick chop right behind the power steering pump there so i'll make an angled bracket and i'll show you what i'm going to do with, with that i got some uh three and a half inch square tube we're gonna cut half sections and and uh, make some gusseted hangers so that i can get that rad support on the front and then in the back the fenders actually bolt to the top of the cab and to the back underside of the cab which uh looks like there might be a little bit of trim in there to get that around that frame at the bottom so yeah cut fit put it in cut it again get it in there but i'm starting to really like how this is uh coming around and uh starting to look here you can see what it looks like from the side and like i said in the beginning of the video that cab's just sitting there so that's got to slide forward to match up so i'm gonna do that slide that cab forward See if I can't get the front fenders bolted to it or at least somewhat attached so I have a, a reference point from the back and then I'll make those front cab mounts. We'll go from there. So we're getting closer. Get that cab up a little bit. It's still got to be moved, I think, a little bit to the driver's side. And then this front clip needs to come down just a little bit. So I cut the front horns off here. And uh, I'll show you this side because there's better lighting. Basically, I need to do a little bit more trimming. You can see right in here where I uh, get some stuff out of the way. The front cab mount, or front, uh, front clip mount for the radiator support is that hole there. And then I'm going to need to trim back that frame just a little bit on both sides that way I can drop that down another quarter inch or so get it leveled up and then we'll start figuring out how to make brackets um, shouldn't be too hard it's not dropping too far down below the frame so so uh, yeah that's where we're at so far do a little bit more work here this is the fun part for me, fit and custom do stuff and figuring out how to make stuff fit that was never supposed to is always a good time, so. Wish me luck. You can see the motor looks like it's a little far to the passenger side. That whole cab's got to shift over just a little bit, but we're getting way closer. She's looking pretty good. I took her off the jack stands and you can see the overall height. And it just sits real nice for now. I got it pretty well centered in there. 
that cab's got to shift a little bit to the driver's side or the passenger side yet. Um, but yeah, we'll work on that. I'm going to have a couple more hands. Once I get it shifted over about an inch and a half or so, I can start uh, making mounts and making it happen.